up guys welcome back to another video for the building series and I am Emerald Princess if you did not know um last episode we built a camp over there so now we are I'm gonna show you how to make an aquarium so this is gonna be a little interesting because I've only made one aquarium from this aquatic update that we just had I have never made another aquarium before, but I did make it and it was so pretty. I want you guys, I want to share it with you guys because it was so cool. So let's get into the video, but first let's pick our um, things that we need. So of course we're going to need water. We're going to need the types of fish that you want. So there's cod, there's salmon. I like the tropical fish and the puffer fish, but that's just me. Um, we do need glowstone. Um, we need glass. I prefer glass blocks instead of panes because during when the water goes in the um, tank, it goes through the panes and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is get some sand and get all of our things. So let's see. Where is the kelp? Sorry guys, I always have a problem finding it. Oh, there it is. And we can get some seagrass. Let's get some coral. We're not going to make it too big. Just, a, just big enough so you guys can see. And then we do also need slabs. And you can do wood slabs, stone slabs, anything you want. And we also need some oak logs too. So I'm gonna switch back to first person so you guys can actually see what I'm doing and so can I. So let's do that first. Okay, so what we're gonna do in creative, so one, two, three. You can make it as tall as you want, as small as you want as wide as you want, anything that you wish. But for now, I am doing this size. So we're gonna take out our glass, of course, but we are gonna dig a hole right between each diagonal square of our logs, just like that. But we're gonna fill it in with sand and glowstone on the bottom. So what I like to do is take one, put one, put one, take one, put one, put, oh, I went too far. Sorry guys. I'm a little off today. Like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right here, 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 and just do that and fill the rest of the squares in with sand, just like that. And now the sides, we're going to do all glass so you guys can see right through it. The glowstone is on the bottom if you guys wondering because it lights up the aquarium more. Because if you don't have any torches in the room where the aquarium is or inside of it, you're not going to be able to see the fish. So I found that out the hard way because I did it like that. And we don't want that. Okay, so now... We are going to add the water so we can add our plants. So let's just add the water first. Make sure it's even. Make sure there's no leaking like this. Like it's moving. Make sure it's not moving, otherwise the fish will get stuck there and we don't want that. So whatever you have with the slabs, just cover it with the top square for now. And just like that. And now we're gonna go inside the aquarium. 
So just put those away, the things you already used, except for the slabs. Put the slabs to the side. Take out your coral. Um, I definitely need another different kind of coral because I have two reds and two blues and I don't want two reds and two blues. So we'll take that one and a pink one, just like that. Okay, so in your water, we are also going to put the water bucket aside since we already finished it. The fish come last and we need our seaweed so I like to add seaweed in each corner or at least towards the middle two three and then our grass and then coral which we need to make some room um let's see let's get some brain coral um these are fans so they can go on the side of the aquarium just like this just like that and then our blue coral can go here and the red can go here just like that perfect okay so now what we're gonna do is put the coral away the seagrass away sand away glass oak log glowstone and all we're gonna need now is our um fish bucket and our slabs so right now we are going to add some fish so one two three three puffers and a lot of different kinds of fish uh oh see this is what i mean this is what happens we don't want that so make sure you don't hit the edge of the um, aquarium with the bucket because otherwise it'll overflow just like that. We don't want that to happen because that just doesn't look good. Okay, so I think that's enough fish. So now what we're going to do is come up one over one, put the last one back, and we're going to cover the whole top. Just like that. And there we go. There you have it. Here's a little aquarium for your house, your uh, mansion, anything you want. You can make it as big as you want. You can make it a walk-in aquarium, which I'm working on in the realms. But yeah, this is what it could be. And they love their new home. I don't know why they're not swimming around more. They're just at the bottom. But, um, but yeah, guys, that is our aquarium. And it doesn't take that long to make. It takes like maybe five minutes to make. It's very simple. Depends on how big you make it. But yet the fish won't be escaping or peeking out the side at all. So it is pretty cool. I love having uh, things of fish in my house. Like the um, aquarium for instance. I love decorating the inside it's so fun and it is very likable by other players so if you guys want to make an aquarium with the seagrass and the kelp the kelp you can break but the seagrass you need shears and the coral and the blocks of coral you need a silk touch pickaxe so you need to enchant a pickaxe first that is silk touch otherwise you won't be able to get it and it'll be dead coral or it just won't appear in your inventory so yeah you gotta get an enchant table before you make your aquarium which is sad but if you're in creative you can do it whenever or wherever you would like so right now I have it here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys learned something new and hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video hopefully you guys are slapping that like button and leaving uh, subscriptions I love having new people to subscribe to me and 
befriending me on Xbox because I love to play with other people, especially on survival. But creative is kind of my go-to point because I like to do everything. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. But hopefully, hopefully <laughs> I can't talk. Hopefully we'll see you guys next time on my channel. So see you later guys. Bye.